everybody. Today we're talking about how we're going to transfer energy from one part of the robot to another. So basically there's two types of power transmission. Um, there's gears and sprockets, right? So first let's talk about gears. So gears have smaller teeth compared to sprockets and there are five different gears. They're all categorized by the amount of teeth that they have and these small rivets right here, they're, they're called teeth, right? So that's what you mean. So the, there are two gears right here. There's a 48 tooth gear and a 24 tooth gear. Right, so what this means is that this is a two to one gear ratio. What do I mean by that? By that? This uh, gear has two times the amount of teeth as this, right? 48 to 24 is two to one. So what that means is that if I spin this once, this gear will spin twice. And to show that, uh, you can see that these black tick marks, they're roughly aligned right now. If I spin this one quarter of the way across, you can see that this one actually spinned halfway across. So this is spinning two times the amount as this, right? So, and if I keep on spinning, you can see they've completely like unaligned and that was one full rotation and we're back together, right? So I rotated it one more time at 180 degrees on the big gear, it's fully rotated and 180 degrees again, it's fully rotated. All right, so now you're probably wondering, oh, why don't we just have it as fast as possible? It doesn't faster always mean better. Well, speeding something up comes with a drawback, torque. In some terms, Torque is a rotational force. What do I mean by this? It's, it's basically power, right? The more torque you have, the stronger it is. So as speed increases, torque decreases. So having this two to one gear ratio means that it's two times less strong as well, right? So it's two times weaker. It's also good to specify if the ratio is speed or torque. Okay, so now I'm spinning the smaller gear and you can see that half a rotation of this gear, the 48 tooth gear, will only spin a quarter, right? So right here, I have this at the very top. I spin it half and it's only went one quarter of the way this is because 24 to 48 simplifies to a one to two ratio making it slower and you're probably wondering oh why would i want it to be slow again right with more torque we have more power but if we have more power we have less speed so it's really dependent on what mechanism you're choosing okay let's say you have to transfer power over a longer distance that's where our sprockets come in so sprockets are the same as gears except the biggest difference is they can use chain. Chain lets you move power through further gaps, and it also reduces the need to spend so much time figuring out the exact gear placement. Now, chains are powered by sprockets, not gears. Sprockets have bigger teeth so that I can fit in the chain, right? You can see here, they fit very well, right? It fits very perfectly. And there are five sprocket types. We have 40 tooth, 32 tooth, 24 tooth, 16 tooth, and 8 tooth, right? And the gear ratio works the same. So if you want it to be faster, you want to have like a positive gear ratio if you want it to be slower, but with more power, you would want a less than one gear ratio. All right, you can see here, I have quite the large gap and I'm gonna bridge this gap with chain and sprocket. So I'm gonna take this sprocket, take the sprocket, they're equally sized, so we don't have to worry about gear ratio. I'm gonna push this in and push this in. I'm gonna take our chain, we're gonna attach it. Now you can see it's connected and they're both spinning. If you want to have more speed, you can change this to a smaller sprocket. This sprocket would now have more torque and this sprocket would have more speed. So it's really dependent on the mechanism that you're choosing. Chains are helpful when you need to send power between two parts that are far apart and gears won't work over well over long distances because they create a lot of friction, right? You have a lot of things connected together. You have a lot of things rubbing on different things and that's a lot of friction. So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and someone, somebody tell Alex to release me from his basement.